Just before the video starts, my Lancaster is now on the workshop, link in the description. As of Stormworks version 1.0.33 being the coaxial advanced rotors update, we have quite a few new rotors added to our arsenal in the game of Stormworks. And along with those, we also have a completely new game mechanic called Rotor Talk. If you're interested to know what this is, quite simply it means that when using any kind of rotor, being a helicopter rotor or just a smaller kind of rotor, it will yaw in a certain direction. Now, as a result, we have to counteract this rotor torque with an anti-torque force, being changing our blades or stuff like that, but today I'm just going to show you a simple, simple method that won't impact performance of your engine and will make everything a lot simpler. So, let's get into it. For those of you that don't know, in Stormworks, torque is dis distributed evenly between components coming from a power source. So if we have four propellers being powered by a single 100 torque motor, each propeller will have 25 torque. So with this knowledge, we can do something where if we, instead of using a singular rotor, which creates torque in a certain direction, spinning our helicopter, why don't we use two of them? which split the torque and as a result we receive pretty much the same amount of torque only with a slight loss but invert one creating a neutral force because if you take the torque created by a rotor on its own and then take away that torque because of an inverted rotor we end up with zero rotor torque so what i've got here is just the preset helicopter with one of the new rotors and if we hop in start our engine and turn our rotor hover on lift up a little bit you can see that without me touching the controls it yours to the left quite strongly this is because of the law of essentially rotor torque our rotor is rotating to the right as you can see it is rotating clockwise so we will rotate anti-clockwise now to fix this we're going to use coaxial rotors and we are going to counter this torque so that we don't have to tune pits and make stupidly stupidly compl complicated stuff so let's do this so we've got our helicopter here and we're just gonna use another rotor as I said in my kind of explanation earlier that if we invert it so hitting my U key you can see now that our roll arrow which is the important one. We want to keep our pitch arrows the same and our forward facing arrow the same, but our roll arrow is different. And this will invert our rotation. If I then put this onto neutral and to show you that we get the same amount of sort of lifting power, let's have in total four blades, so two on each. You can see that you know, four blades in total. So, you probably think, well, hang on, if we just go and attach our collective and our pitch and our roll, that won't work because the roll is inverted. Well, to counter that, let's get an inverter. Let's put it on the back here. And we can take the roll from our gyro into the roll of our top rotor we don't need electricity if we spawn this in see yes it's a bit taller and it looks a bit funny but let's try this now Look for power on start our engine our rotate our rotors run in opposite directions and if we hit our auto over I lift up and I leave my controls we do not yaw whatsoever. Now this is great because not only have we now got more torque on our main rotors because of the law of torque in Stormworks, it's divided evenly between components. So beforehand we had one rotor and one tail rotor and they were being split evenly. So 50% torque on the main rotor, 50% on our rear. Now we've got 33, 33, and 33, and quite simply, we've got two-thirds of that, of that 
100% of our torque in the main and one third at the back. So really, we've got a performance gain from this and we don't have to deal with any complicated logic. It's just a simple inverter. And look at us, we're flying so gracefully. So yeah, this is a, this is the simplest way to fix the new rotor torque mechanic and to counteract it.